Welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. We just got the keys to our new home on the farm. Our final walkthrough was just completed and the keys were handed over to us. We're going to take you on a walkthrough of our Clayton Homes Hancock 32. It's 76 feet long by 32 feet wide and 2,280 square feet of livable space. The front door leads into the living room with these built-in shelves, cabinet, and TV stand. The home center brought the surprise gift that will let us always remember when we got to move onto the farm. They also got us this gift basket full of kitchen goodies. Let's take a look at what's inside. A cake pan, towel, oven mitt, measuring cups, dish, and a spatula. I'm sure we can put these gifts to use in the near future. Here's the space for our oven that will be delivered soon, and this is where the dishwasher will go. We're bringing the refrigerator from our current house when we move. Our new convection oven with induction cooktop was delivered moments after the walkthrough along with the dishwasher. There's a built-in chalkboard next to the laundry room. There is just enough space for our washer and dryer with shelving for some cleaning supplies. We have this nice area with plenty of counter space and cabinets. This will be our coffee and cocktail station and storage for extra bakeware. Normally they put a rear door here, but we opted to have a wall instead since we have a sliding glass door. We're going to use this space for a freezer. The den has a wood burning fireplace and built in bookcases. As you can see, they left us some spare trim if we need it later. The ceiling fan will be nice during the hot summers. The dining area is just big enough for our family of six. The custom screened and covered back deck we'll have built soon will be better for when we have guests over for meals. The dining room leads into the master bedroom, which is big enough for all of our bedroom furniture without being too crowded. The walk-in closet is a decent size as well. The master bathroom has this huge bathtub and tons of built-in storage. We're especially excited about this double vanity. There's more shelving and a bench on this side, as well as the shower. It even has two seats in it. Let's head back out of the bedroom and into the kitchen and then go into the office. We'll be editing lots of YouTube videos in here over the next several years. Down the hall and on the left is another full bathroom. It's pretty roomy in here. Just outside is a built-in desk. The kids will be able to do homework here. We like that they included USB ports on the outlet. We have a little linen closet at the end of the hall. This is the biggest of the three non-master bedrooms, with a decent sized closet. We have one daughter, so she'll get this one. The next bedroom isn't much smaller, but does have the smallest closet. There's a bathroom connected with the last bedroom on the other side. The three boys will share this bathroom. Two boys will be in one bedroom and one in the other. They probably won't be spending too much time in the rooms when they have nearly 25 acres to play in and dozens of animals to take care of on the farm. Here's a look at the last bedroom. This is the floor plan of our home. The back door was left out, so we'll put an X over it. We looked at several homes about this size and chose this one because of the efficient layout and built-in storage options. We needed three bathrooms and soon discovered that our options were very limited. 
The kitchen is the largest we've seen in a manufactured home, and that was a huge priority for us. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or want to see anything else in this home. We really appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe if you don't already and follow along on our farming journey. We'll see you next time.